Hi, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to learn in the pre-algebra tutor about the, the concept of the least common multiple. Now, I know that you probably just got done watching the section on the greatest common factor and in your book, in your classroom, you probably learned greatest common factor and least common multiple really close at the same time. Uh, so I wanted to break it up into two separate sections so you had everything separate so you wouldn't get confused because these, these concepts are, at first they seem similar. They really are quite different and they're used for different things later on, but now when you just learn both of them, I mean they both involve list of numbers, they both involve picking something common to two lists, so they sort of seem like the same thing. In the greatest common factor, we were listing the factors of a number and picking the largest one common to both lists. That's what we did then. Now in the least common multiple, you have to pick apart the words. Remember how we learned how to write the multiples of a number. We're going to practice that here. We write the multiples of, a, of number number one that we have. We write the multiples of the other number that we have. And then we just look for the least, uh, the, the, the common number that's common to both of these lists that happens to be the smallest. All right, now we talked in the last section that greatest common factor was going to be used a lot for simplifying algebra expressions. Least common multiple is used all the time also. It's specifically it's used when we deal with fractions finding the common denominator. We're going to get into that later, but you'll find that your skills that you develop here with least common multiple are going to come into play, especially when we start dealing with fractions. So let's go into it. What is the least common multiple? I've already given you sort of an overview. The least common multiple. And to this day, I have to just read the words and think about what it's telling me to understand what it's, what it's telling you. So what we do is we, we list the multiples of two or more numbers and we pick the smallest number, so this is the smallest number, common to both, to both lists, in other words. So really, rather than just talk about this all day, I think the easiest thing to do is just to go into to do some examples. So let's say we had the numbers 1 and 3, and we wanted to find the least common multiple. The way to do that is we write two different lists of numbers. First, we write the multiples of the number one. And we already learned how to do this in a previous section. So if you have forgotten, go back and re watch that section. But the way we do that, the, no the multiples of the number one are zero, one, two, three, four, five, dot, 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 and keep going on and on. The multiples of the number three are zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, dot, 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 dot. So what you're doing here when you write the multiples, is you're basically counting by the number. If you were finding the, the multiples of the number 2, it would be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. If you were finding the multiples of 5, it would be 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, like that. Um, here we're just writing the multiples, basically we're counting by the number, and then all we do is we look at our list and we say, what is the smallest number common to both of these lists? the smallest number common to both of these lists other than the number zero. We're never going to pick the number zero. Uh, and so we look here and we say, well, this is the smallest number common to both of those lists other than the number zero. We never pick the number zero. So the least common multiple is 